Poppy. I uh, hope you're having a good day. And happy Valentine's to you too. So if you're uh, watching or listening in, I am working on a commission today for Bailey Casperin, and it is a quill dog design based on one of their pets. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun getting to bring this one to life. Thank you. Yeah, it's always a uh, it's always an honor when people bring their ideas for uh, a pet based commission, and they uh, they trust me with uh, that process, especially when you know it's something something personal like this
Maria Naknikyu. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> I uh, hope you're having a good day. And thanks for dropping in. Does anybody have a big Valentine's Day plans today? I think we're just going to stay home and have a nice meal and hang out. So it should be nice. other wing looks a little bit off. Your boyfriend has a plan. I asked him to keep it a surprise. Oh, that'll be nice. Hi, Bailey. I, uh, I hope you like what you see so far. <laughs> if not, we can totally, uh, totally edit things and
imagine she'd have some nice, beautiful wings. It's she, yes. <laughs> that up a little bit. needs to be since it's the far far wing it's a little more narrow we can redo this leg real quick I think that looks a little bit better. So if you're uh, just tuning in, I am working on a commission for Bailey Casperin. And uh, this one's special because it's based off of uh, one of their animals. They're a beautiful dog. So I kind of had this idea and uh, we can totally scrap it if it didn't work. But I was thinking like what if her tail slowly morphed into uh, snowfall since she loves snow. <laughs> you love ideas. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we can try it out then. And see if we like it.
And I was thinking her wings, we could like make them mingle in the heavens and the snowfall. Had add some pretty shimmers and colors. I keep hitting my uh, my microphone with my stylus here. I apologize. Like my microphone hangs off my headphones, and uh, it's on my left side, and I'm left-handed. So like when I get to draw, and if I lean in too close, I hit my uh my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I just lean in too close and it's like, oh, nope, I hit my microphone. Now, let's see, will she look better if we we put her wing over the back? Maybe if we expose her back here. Hmm. Hi V. I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> so this is the uh, beautiful dog that we're basing this design on. She reminds me a lot of uh, a dog that I had growing up. He was a black lab named Snickers. And he was a good boy. Oh. <laughs>
Oh, she's such a loved pup to get a commission like this for her. Yes, much loved. And I was thinking off of her uh, quills here, we could have little snowflakes. Oops. Of course, these will be, you know, better drawn than the finished version, but just to kind of give us some ideas. Maybe snowflakes and stars and stardust. Just cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't know about flawless, but I appreciate that. I was thinking too, if we wanted to, um, if we could, we could give her like a halo of, uh, stars and snowflakes just something to set her set her apart to make her look all cute and special <laughs> I'm going to um, send this sketch over to you, Bailey, on Discord. And if you wouldn't mind, just let me know if there's anything you want changed or added before I get started on color. That would be great. <laughs> Alright, it should be sent over to you. And of course in the final uh version there'll be there'll be more color and action stuff going on. <laughs> more sparkle and shimmer and all the good stuffs. <laughs> I can add more uh, like curliness and fluffiness on the butt if you'd like me to <laughs> especially when I uh, bring in her fur her fur texture fluffy butt <laughs> alright well I'm going to get started on uh, on some color then Let me 
me save so I don't lose everything. That would be bad. <laughs> well, it says we have five people tuning in. So if you're uh, if you're tuning in, I hope you're having a good day. It is Tuesday. I don't know why it feels later in the week than Tuesday for me, but. <laughs> We'll add some nice curly curly butt fur action here. All the curls. <laughs> My lab didn't really have any uh, curly fur. He had a lot of just straight, thick fur that got everywhere. <laughs> Hi, Lukina. How are you doing today? And uh, thanks for stopping in, too. All the curl. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's supposed to be windy here today, but it's not yet. But we've gotten like all kinds of wind advisories, but everything is still outside right now. <laughs> I can see it in my mind, Bailey. That's all that matters. I can uh, I can envision it for you. Your emojis. I can't believe it's already uh, Valentine's Day. To me, that's nuts. Like, <laughs> it feels like we just started this year. Like, we're almost halfway to March. Sorry about that, Bailey. So what I normally do here is uh, I won't draw quills until I'm done with the fur. So if you uh, if you see me kind of overdrawing these quills, they will they will make a return very soon. 
but just not right now. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about the ads. I'm gonna, before I stream the next time, I'll try and check my uh, settings and see if I can like turn that off or something. Like I may have, uh, I may have set it on settings to play like ads, but I didn't, I didn't know it was like mid, mid stream. <laughs> Yeah, I think most platforms to uh, to function financially usually have to rely on advertisement. But <laughs> the old YouTube days, the golden days, yes. Like, it's kind of surreal to me that, like, gosh, I think I started watching YouTube in, like, 2012? 2011? Something like that. And, uh, that's, that's been a decade ago. <laughs> And uh, where I grew up, I grew up very rural, and we did not get um, dial-up until I was in high school. So I didn't exactly grow up with the internet, but uh, I encountered it in, uh, in my high school years. And I couldn't imagine life without it now. Yep, just another thing to throw money at. <laughs> like I don't I don't have the experience of uh having had internet from birth and I wonder I wonder about uh kids today that uh have that experience and how it'll shape their lives and perceptions and makes you wonder. Mm-hmm. Like, I've never had an iPad. I've never... I've never experienced all that. And I'm kind of glad. <laughs> uh. Like, I think... I think technology has its place, and it's a wonderful thing, and it helps us communicate, but I also wonder if, uh... if some parents have been too reliant on it. When it comes to uh, their kids' attention, oh, really? Wow. Yeah, I know, uh, like the computer that I had in high school, well, our whole family had, was a, <laughs> it was a Windows 3.1. And then we moved to a Windows 2000, I believe. And uh, the 3.1, to, to really navigate it, you really had to know what you were doing. Everything just wouldn't, you know, point and click. So. Yes. Same here, Mint Poppy. <laughs> Right, I totally agree, Bailey. <laughs> That's awesome. Had you on DOS when you were two. Yeah, it just like I feel like if our uh, if our connections, our internet, would uh, ever go down, like long term and widespread, I uh, I worry about some people and their ability to like function and you know, kind of navigate this world without it. The 
snail mail. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's it's so integrated in everything we do, and like you know, I'm I'm totally reliant on it today too, especially, you know, using your debit card or, you know, paying for things online and electronic bills and everything. Like it it makes everything so convenient compared to like when we grew up, you know, and you had to you had to send a check off or you had to like write a check in the checkout lane at Walmart or, <laughs> you know, it's just it's so different. <laughs> like uh, just the other day my husband um, was able to get his tags renewed for his truck online like completely online didn't even have to step foot in the uh, DMV office which is like fantastic, you know, who wants to, who wants to spend an afternoon there? But, uh, it's just, it's crazy how far we've come. Yeah, I, uh, I still keep a checkbook as well, Bailey. Because you never know. You never know when somebody, uh, won't accept a debit card or if, like, their machine goes out and you don't have cash like it's always nice to just have that option just in case <laughs> it's uh it's to me it's a good thing to have just you know just in case you need it but I would say 99% of everything you can do today, you can navigate without. I can't believe here it's going to get up to 70 degrees tomorrow. That's kind of uncalled for this time of year. So I've got the windows open, airing out the house. It's supposed to rain here in a little bit. So it'll be, it'll be nice to have all that fresh air. Does anybody else like that uh, distinct metallic-y smell of rain? What they call a uh, petrichor? Because I do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. Especially in the summertime. Um, where I live, it gets, it gets very, very humid. And so, like, when there's a storm on the horizon, and you can just smell the rain, and it looks nice and dark on the, on the horizon and everything, it's just like, ah, oh, yes, bring it. Like that, that relief of heat is so nice. <laughs> Let 
try and get some of that curliness and thick locks on the on the neck and shoulders here. Me too, Lucina. <laughs> I guess the first time I've been able to have the windows open proper since the fall. So it's, uh, I don't know, I've had a bit of cabin fever, just wanting to get out and like do things and garden and everything. So it's like finally like that taste of like, okay, spring is coming. <laughs> It'll be here soon, you know. Like I love, I love winter, don't get me wrong, but after a while, especially like this late in winter, it's like, okay. Give me the sunshine, give me the longer days. Give me the fresh air. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mint. Whenever my creature wants the window open, I have no choice. She enjoys freezing me out. <laughs> Solo is the same way. So when we went when we went on our honeymoon, we uh, we traveled out west and we ended up camping in the desert. And uh, he had made sure, quote unquote, that it was not going to be too cold. He's like, oh, it'll only be in the 40s tonight. And I was like, okay, that'll be fine. And uh, it dropped down to like 18 degrees that night. And all we had was our little um, pop-up tent. And I, oh, uh, like he was totally fine. And I was like freezing. And I was like, at midnight, I was like, you know, let's, uh, let's go to the truck. I'm so cold. <laughs> so, uh. He turned the truck on for me. Yep. It was supposed to be mid 40s and I was like, okay, I can just put on a lot of blankets. It'll be okay. And uh, it was it was much colder than we expected. But it was really, really cool. Um, he took us to what they call a dark sky park where there is no... Uh, no artificial light for like over a hundred miles so you could see like the milky way you could see all of the stars and when he uh took me it was a meteor shower so it was it's beautiful so we like had our little campfire and we're just watching all the the stars and the meteors and it was very nice <laughs> i loved it only part I uh, complain about is the cold, <laughs> but uh, I think that's justified. But yeah, he's a lot more uh, resilient to the cold. I don't mind the cold, but if I have to sleep, I want to be nice and cozy. And, uh, like, he was sleeping just fine, 18 degrees, <laughs> like, one little blanket, and then I was just, uh, I was like, nope, I'm done. I'm going to the truck. I'm cold. <laughs> Hi, Luna. Doggo angel baby, yes. I hope you're having a good day, and, uh, happy Valentine's.
<laughs> the testosterone is the cheat code to stay unnecessarily warm. <laughs> probably. Probably. Like, uh, when I went to deer camp with him last year, like, he would have been totally fine just falling asleep in, like, 12 degrees, right? beside the fire and I was just like no I gotta I must go inside to the camper and <laughs> like he's a he's got a very old camper that we use for uh camping and uh like ice and stuff will actually form on the inside of the camper if it's cold enough but at least it you know keeps you out of the wind and stuff yeah he's he's totally fine just like sleeping in the cold <laughs> Enjoying my favorite Valentine watching his favorite show, Blippy Aw. Yeah, it's hard to believe it's Valentine's Day already. This year is zooming by. Ooh, chocolate strawberries. Solo brought some home uh, last week. Some chocolate strawberries, and they were delicious. The only thing with chocolate strawberries <laughs> that uh, frustrates me is like you, you almost have to eat them all in one go because if you don't and you try to put them in the fridge, they like condensate and get all wet. And it's just like, ugh. But they're so good. Oh, you have to go to work tonight. Yeah. Gotta eat them fast. Yeah, my goal is um, after after Bailey's commission here is done, I'm hoping to be able to make a Valentine's Day commission too. Or not commission, Valentine's Day uh, design. Like I kind of have an idea in mind, but uh, I'll keep that for later. <laughs> All the fluff. You can't have too much fluff, right? See how it looks from afar. Yeah, I'm liking that. I think it's looking good. Fruit will dogs. <laughs> she does look like a panda with her uh, unfinished head and belly. I think fruit could be fun, especially for spring. Yeah, if you put that uh, in the suggestions channel, I will definitely put it on my uh, project list. We'll, we'll make it happen someday. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, a chocolate covered strawberry cold dog. There's also been a lot of requests for um, desserts, like dessert based designs. So I'm hoping to do that this year too. Yeah. Oh, thanks for the uh, follow on Twitch, Bailey. I just saw it. Oh, and uh, if you're just tuning in now, if you hear a weird noise on my mic, <laughs> that is me accidentally running into my stylus, because I'll lean in too close, and uh, my microphone's attached to my, my headset, <laughs> and uh, it's on the left side, and I'm left-handed, so when I lean in, like, I accidentally hit my, my stylus from time to time, so if you hear any weird noise, that is most likely what you're, uh, what you're hearing. <laughs> Bonk, yes. <laughs> and like I've tried setting setting the microphone back and stuff, but it uh it doesn't lend to very good sound. So I'm I'm unfortunately have to keep it about right where it's at for now. <laughs> but hopefully it's not too much of a a hassle.
go. Give some texture here to her face. All right, now it's time for her wings. So one thing I do when I make wings, when I include these feathers, a lot of the feathers, especially due to wear and tear, aren't gonna be perfect. So they're gonna have little divots where uh, the fibers have come apart or have lines where the fibers have uh, not come together just perfectly anymore. And I feel like it adds a realistic look to the wings, at least in my opinion. <laughs> so even these little feathers might have a little divot here and there. Oh, thank you, Mint Poppy. I am a fan of uh, Scruffy Fur as well. There's just something special about bird wings. So much fun to draw. I'm sorry about the ad. Was it like super loud or something? Just startling. <laughs> I see. That's understandable. Not understandable for them to do that, though. Also, if you hear any uh, machinery or anything, my uh, my neighbors are renovating. So. That is what you're hearing. <laughs> as soon as it starts, you just rip your headphones out. That's understandable.
there's one wing. Let's see if we can do the other one. I have country roads in my head and I cannot get it out <laughs> this song it's a good song don't get me wrong but me I it's one of those that like sticks in your skull <laughs> no mint poppy <laughs> now it is stuck in your head too I heard a really beautiful version of it this morning when I was uh, scrolling f through Facebook and uh, now it's just it's permanent it's permanently stuck there for uh, at minimum a couple days in my in my head Like, I want to sing it so bad on stream, but I'm worried about a copy strike. <laughs> or copyright strike? Copy strike? I don't know. Copyright strike. I think that's how you say it. The big ban. But man, if it if it ain't tempting. see how this looks not bad not bad at all okay just gonna erase some bits okay now let's add some color in
And then after I get this colored in, I will, uh, I'll bring in a background that will help us see it all better. <laughs> she, she's coming together, Bailey, slowly but surely. hit my microphone again. I am <laughs> I'm so sorry. I lean in too close. I get too like into the the action of my my brush here. Gotta make sure I lay it down just perfect. I just love that name, Nyx. I was thinking the theme name for this design, we could do something like uh, Nyx's Snowfall or something of the sort. She's precious.
I'm debating if I want to do a Quill Coyote or a Jackalunita for the uh, Valentine's Day design. Also, do I know you? <laughs> what you mean? Or is that for, uh, for mint puppy? Also, Rosie gets to have a medicated bath tomorrow to help with her scratching. <laughs> yeah, uh, for fear of fox did uh the YCH slot if you uh followed that Bailey Yeah like we have uh we've navigated her scratching issues for a while. We've tried different foods, we've tried elimination diet, we've tried topicals We've tried medicated baths, we've tried supplements, we've tried, you know, different types of veterinary care, oral medication, everything, and it's just, she's an old dog with scratches. So the best thing that helps us is uh, baths, so that's what we do. And tomorrow she's due for a bath, and it's supposed to be up to 70 degrees, so I can finally take her outside and give her a good bath. So that's what I have scheduled for tomorrow morning. Yeah. Of all things she could suffer though, it's not it's not the worst. <laughs> but I'm sure it's annoying having to scratch and stuff. We also wonder if it might be something she's allergic to here in the uh, soil like some some type of grass or something because it didn't really affect her until we moved here so yeah but this will this will help alleviate her her itches
make a couple copies of it. Save. <laughs> Precious snow baby. Yes. And now I'm going to bring in a, uh, a background so we can appreciate her better. See her a little better. Let me see. What do I got made up that would do good? I know. This purple. I might... I might die, uh mute it a little bit but I think this will do nicely yes there we go now we can see her proper let's bring this up I was thinking just the tiniest little blue tinge to her pelt would look nice <laughs> purple it ties in with your uh, with your favorite color. We can add a little out overlay here to get more of that color. Eh, let's do let's do what about that? That way too we can see all the pretty snow and sparkle when we when we start to add that. <laughs> so now we talked about looking at how how she'd look if we made her tail gradually turn into snow. So let's see how that'll how that would fare. And then we can get a glistening glowing look to the tail. We'll add little snow sparkles here in just a minute. a windswept snowy look I'm gonna delete right off the border so we don't have to worry about a line <laughs> and little bits little bits of snow and stars and sparkles All the pretty snow. If we wanted to, we could even do little a 
little wind gusts or something kind of show the movement. Maybe this will extend up onto the, the black part of the tail. And then slowly fade. Here we go back in and figure out where these quills lie. There we go. And then kind of an idea I had, which if you don't like it, we can uh, we can totally scrap it, but maybe have her wings coming up into a, a more purpley shade. Like they're reaching the heavens. So just ever so slightly.
Oh, thank you, Bailey. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm just having fun. Like seeing where we can uh, where we can take this. Okay, so just kind of get a little bit lighter. So there's without, and there's with. We can even bring it up just a little bit more for contrast. And if we want to, we can take it more in a blue direction like that. Perfect. And then we'll take this color. Maybe, maybe just a little bit more. Just a smidge more purple. There we go. We can bring this down onto some of these other feathers just to give a little bit more definition. Something like this. And then we can go back and blend that out. What if we even take her body? I know she is a, a black lab, but we can add just a little bit of a, a purpley hue to her. I think that'll look nice. Yeah. <laughs> the perfect shade of purple. Good. Good, good. Go back in and add just a little more definition. Like that. There we go. She's gonna be beautiful. All her pretty purple shades and her love of snow. And then we can just mute that out just a little bit. So we got her tail, her purple, and her body. Let's add some celestial, heavenly, heavenly little stardust and bits to her beautiful self. I'd imagine moons and stars. And snowflakes, of course. So we have to add our little snowflakes. Maybe that trails down onto the wings here. Oh, 
Oh, mint. I don't know what that means. Subscribed at tier one for three months, but uh, I, I very much appreciate it. <laughs> Maybe a little moon over here. Another little snowflake. That one's a little wonky. Let's make it better. There we go. Now we can go back in and add just a little highlight to some of these. Oh. Well, thank you. I'm I'm happy they've uh, been helping you get through the day. I uh I have fun streaming it. I know in the past uh streaming was actually pretty intimidating to me. So uh like I'd make art, but I would never stream it very often. And uh I'm uh I'm glad I'm doing that this year. It's a it's a lot more fun. <laughs> Maybe she has these beautiful glowing eyes of snow. If not, we can always change that. I wonder how it would look with a little purple in there. Let's see. What if they... What if we fade it to purple? Maybe? Let's see. And then we can go in with our white. Ooh, that's pretty. little white and purple for her beautiful eyes oh and now you won't get ads <laughs> that's good Alright, I'm gonna save. I've not saved uh, since the sketch. I should probably save. <laughs> now if we wanted to... Okay. We also need to give her snowy paw pads that produce beautiful snowfall wherever she walks. Like that. And go back in with a little glow. Then we'll have some some snow trailing behind each little pad. Like this. We can fade this out like that. Take 
<laughs> little snow beans, yes. Now, if I noticed in her photo, she's got some gray around her, her muzzle, as does my, my dear dog. So we can add that in if we like. What I'll do is blend this out. And then I'll add a little white stippling. So it also kind of looks like she's she's been digging her face down around the snow. But pays homage to her uh, her gray as well. I think it looks a little better when we cover it like that. Yeah. And a little bit of white. <laughs> I just love her. So cute. All right. So now I'm gonna use this purple to help define define her ear. And I'll just fade this up onto her her ear there so we can kind of see it without it being too showy. There we go. little purple earlobe because her ears are in the heavens. I love it. And of course this has got a this has got a glow. Halos have to glow. It's a rule, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see if we can't make that just a tad just a tad bigger. There we go. Maybe pull it this way just a bit. Yeah. I wonder how would this look if we filled her halo in with a little purple. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not talking very loud. <laughs> I was uh, mostly just talking to myself through the through the process here. 
I hope it's better now. She's looking so fancy. I love it. I want to add elements that uh, complete her, but don't don't change her if that makes sense. Like I don't want to add a ton of uh, patterning to the pelt because she didn't have a ton of patterning. So to me, it would feel feel silly to add that. But I think we can get away with some of these little things here. We can still make her set apart and special, for sure. So maybe we can add a little bit of purple to her quills. Like this. Maybe some of that will come fall onto her pelt here too. Maybe go up onto her wings a little bit. We could add little marks to her quills if we want, like this. Beautiful. We can go back in with that purple too and do the same. Add a little bit of purple. Oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> the prettiest. So I was thinking maybe on her ear tips, we could add like a little bit of snow. But of course all of this is a uh, removable, changeable, or whatever if we don't like it. A little bit of, a little bit of frosted frosted t ear tips here in a good way <laughs> we can blend that out and 
Maybe something like that. Snow puppy. Yes. The best snow puppy. Redo this little little part here. So that's her without anything and this is her with. I was thinking too we could add this glow just to make her a little more ethereal. We could uh, add kind of like this glow to some parts of her. So maybe we have it up around her quills and like that. And maybe some down here around her, her hind quills. We'll blur all this out. Come back in and define some of these. Like that one. And that one. There we go. We can also get this more muted purple behind it. And then we'll blur that out. There. Define that again. Of course, whoops, this wing would be in front of this, so we're gonna bring these feathers up in front just like that. Perfect. Okay. And then her uh, her little quill danglies. I figure if we want to embrace the, the purple like that, and then we can come back in and add our uh, our snowflakes and little stars <laughs> I am biased but I think she sure is pretty let me do some proper proper snowflakes maybe like that maybe there's another one over here and one here these have to glow okay yeah <laughs> let me 
make each little one unique. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, they're so cute. I love that. Now we can have some hanging on these quills like that. And we can add, maybe there's a little star here. That is a terrible star. Let me redraw that. <laughs> there we go. That's a cute star. A little glowing star. Maybe this one's got a moon. Like that. Some pretty white tendril decor. Like that, maybe. <laughs> Everything okay, Bailey? Oh, that's a fat moon. Let me draw a little bit better. There we go. Oh, and I need to... Yeah, I think that looks good. I need to add little connections where they swoop like that. There. She's coming together. Now I wonder too, if I put this purple behind them. Will that look good? Let's see. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> My star comment. <laughs> it's like, oh no, that's an ugly star. Ooh, I like that. Yep, I think that's looking good. Ooh. Purple and white and black just go good together so well. I hope you don't mind that I've uh, I've embraced the purple on this design. We can always change it if we need to. <laughs> like you know, you you think a design will go one direction and then you end up going in a little slightly different other direction. And uh turns out sometimes Oh, okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so these... These go on to the pelt. Yes, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this purple. Yeah. It's so pretty. All right, so this is her without decor. This is her with decor. I'm thinking she needs just a little something across the body, maybe some decor lines to uh, 
cut up this space where it's just a little bit too too wide maybe maybe something like this just so she has a little bit more going on we can have this one wrap around to one of these quills have some pretty tendrils falling off of here yeah just something to break up this this space here Oh, I'm, uh, I'm really happy that, uh, you like it so much so far. Like, it makes me, makes me happy. She definitely looks good. If I do say so myself. Because she is good. Little white tendrils coming off of there. And we can also put some beads just so we can kind of sense this space. Maybe there's some beads on this one too. And here's some beads down here. A couple beads. There we go. Just to break up that break up that space. Do we want to add glow to this? Let's see. Ooh, pretty. All right. And then... Blur this out like so. Oh, yeah, it's coming together. Okay, yeah, I can add white to her chest if you need. That's no problem. I think that would also look cute and bring some white to that location. I know on this image I can't really see it, but it might be like where her chest meets the ground. Okay, I can add that, no problem. And we can even make it glow like snow. A little white patch. Have this fur falling in front of it like that and then just a little bit a little bit of glow if, I, if we want we can take this white kind of extend it down the leg just as a highlight so we can see that leg 
and where it, it sits just a little bit better. As a almost highlight off that, that fur. There. Hi, Foxy Full. Thanks for uh, dropping by. I hope you're having a good day. Oh yeah, I think she's coming together. Oh, okay, thank you. Yes, look at that little white patch, it's so cute. It almost comes up in the middle like that, so I'm gonna... There we go, make it a little wider. There. I think she's looking so good. I am, uh, I'm good. I, uh, hope your nap was good. so curly and Bailey I hope I captured that all right with some of these curls coming up onto her under her back here I'll even add a little more just so we can appreciate it Did you sleep for a bit too long? think she's at a good point um I'm gonna send this to you on discord Bailey so you can review it and uh, if there's anything you want added or changed we can go from there Oh, thank you so much. This is a uh, commission for Bailey, and uh, it's a design based off of uh, one of their critters, their beautiful dog, Nyx. And she loves snow, so we're trying to embrace that. <laughs> so that's why she's got a tail that turns into beautiful white snow and all of the all of the little trinkets and snowfall and celestial stuff on her <laughs> oh thank you oh thank you Bailey I'm glad you think so like I said, if there's anything you want changed or added or removed, I'm happy to do that. If not, I can uh, I can get files made and sent your way. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> I hope she would have liked it. <laughs> you think she looks good? Awesome. Yeah, feel free. Feel free to make a poster. Oh, that'd be perfect. All right, I'm going to uh, make uh, files for you, and I'll send that over on Discord. And uh, then I'm going to get started on a little Valentine's Day fun design. I'm leaning towards uh, Jackalunita for that. So, But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the stream here and then... I'm going to immediately start another one just so I have two different videos to uh, upload from Twitch. <laughs> so I will be right back, guys. <laughs> 